everybody, this is Tyler Second to Winter Spinning News, and right here I've got my SIM car, whatever the hell that is, exit sign. I got this thing for three bucks at a thrift store, so it's pretty much worth the money. And essentially, this thing is pretty cool actually. It's a very basic exit sign. It's got, it is a battery backup model. Not only is it battery backup, but it also has a um, 277 volt for commercial grade lighting buildings, and it also has a 120 volt input. So there's a multi step transformer in that thing, which is nice. And of course, you get the little test switch. See, the AC light goes out when you test it. And it's very basic. It's not, it's just a very basic exit sign. I'm not even lying with you. So there's nothing really to talk about it. But I think it's a really nice exit sign. Works. And the battery is brand new. This thing was brand new in the box. I even got the box for it down the hall over here. with uh, the old exit sign in it. This is the homemade one that was over there. This does still work, I just, it's old and crappy and I don't use it anymore. And the Sony Handycam charger. Here's the original box. See, Sim Car Corporation LED exit light. See, it's a very basic, uh, all hardware included, automatic low voltage disconnect, blah, 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 you know. Charge rate, power on LED indicator. Warranty, five year warranty, copyright 2008. Oh, this is kind of old. I never knew I realized that. There's the box. It's it's literally just a generic exit sign. It's not even really anything else. It's nothing fancy. It's just a generic exit sign. And it works. So, it has a rechargeable battery. That's all I care about. I have the same exact exit sign that I actually got from my school. Um, my school had these exit signs around when they replaced the uh, old ones and I had it and I sold it off but sold it to my friend he wanted a cheap exit sign I gave him 15 bucks for it I didn't really have a use for it because I kinda like my homemade stuff better but um I had the same exact one I got from the school and the reason why I got it is because the mounting plate was broken and the janitors didn't thought it was broken because the 277 imp volt input was fried but apparently the ironic part is the 120 volt input worked just fine, so that was luck for me, huh? But anyhow, the school didn't have much use for it because obviously all their exit signs run off of a 277 volt generator, and they have a 277 volt line input. Not only that, but the building doesn't have batteries in these things because the generator usually kicks in because our school makes our own power through gas. We make our own power down in the uh, tech ed wing. And what happens is um, we have a secondary generator in case of the gas does gets disconnected and we lose power or something. Uh, the generator powers the exit signs, the servers, and I think the main office and, and the nurse's office. I think that's just about it. Like it only powers those general areas. And we have a pretty weak generator. And the cafeteria, the cafeteria fridges, that's just about it though. Other than that, I'm pretty sure it doesn't power anything else. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.